This week I learned something new, something different. Uh, I have known about the festival of Mimuna for a few years. What I thought that it was, was an opportunity to break our, our pesadic uh, diet, right? That, that we haven't been eating chametz, those things that are lemon, leavened, those things that have flour but are not matzah, all of those sort of things. And I thought that Mimuna was our opportunity to eat all of those things that we didn't have the opportunity before. But what I learned is that that is not what Mimuna is. Uh, it is a Moroccan festival that actually, interestingly, often has pesadica food so that the people who are preparing the feast can prepare with the food that they have in the house that they don't have to break Passover early. Uh, that it is not just Moroccan, that there are Jews in Libya and Jews in Trinidad, which is something new that I learned, that also celebrate this uh, celebration. Uh, the name Mimuna comes, we're actually not entirely sure, but for, potentially from three different sources. One is that it is possible it comes from the name Maimonides or Rabbi Moshe ben Maimon, also known as Rambam, that it is his yard site, the anniversary of his passing, and so the festival is named for him. Others say that Mimuna comes from the Arabic Ma'amun, um, which is wealth and good fortune or literally protected by God. And so uh, because this is the time period where okay, springtime things are being born, things are growing, that we should have good fortune and prosperity and um, and fertility, all of those sorts of things. And a third possibility is that it comes from the Hebrew word emuna, uh, which means belief or faith. Um, which actually leads us back to Maimonides. Maimonides has 13 principles of faith, and one begins with anima amin be'emunash lema, I believe with full faith, and he's talking about God and redemption. And so that this is a time where um, during Pesach, when we invite Eliyahu Hanavi, when we invite Elijah the prophet into our homes, the hope is that redemption will come with it, that the messianic age, the perfection of the world will come with it also, and that the sweets that we eat on Mimuna are, an opportunity for us to be comforted that redemption has not come, that we are not all in Jerusalem, as we say at the end of the Seder, and that um, there is still sweetness in the world that we are in, and so we partake of those sweets. So, um, so what do you say then on Mimuna? You say be prosperous and lucky, sort of a uh, Leonard Nimoy Spock sort of a uh, you know, uh, a <laughs> moment, but, but this is an opportunity for us to celebrate despite the fact that um, the time of redemption, that Passover is past, that there is still sweetness in the world. So I hope this year as Passover comes to an end, whether in the Reformed tradition you celebrate that on Friday evening or in the diaspora conservative and orthodox traditions you keep for eight days um, and therefore celebrate Mimona on uh, Sunday, excuse me, on Saturday night going into Sunday, that you have something sweet, that you have something filling, maybe even that you have something leavened. May you be prosperous and lucky.